I am Daryl Tank. I hope you enjoyed the video that I just recently put out about establishing a center line, both in your reference and as you structure your drawing. I think it's really a great opportunity for us to establish perspective in particular. Today I wanted to be able to give you another, I hope, good visual so that you can just remember to look for it because it's such a wonderful advantage when you're drawing your portraits. And that is to be able to align uh, features with other features in your portrait taking advantage of your reference and just having a good idea about how large one feature may be in relationship to another. So let's go ahead and establish a center line just like we did uh, on the last video and this will give us a good opportunity to see how well things are distributed. Very symmetrical face. You'll see that it goes right down the center of her nose really divided up between her eyes very well and it actually goes right up between her two front teeth. One of the things I want to point out is that sometimes you're never going to see something so symmetrical and if something is a little different, her nose is a little wider on one side, eye a little different on one side or another, uh, teeth are, are not aligned with everything, that's something you want to know. And I want to make sure that you have that center line like we talked about before so that you can do that. Now let's go ahead and add another line just to see what we want to do if we're going to see how wide her nose is. Well, I can see how wide her nose is, but if I, I line it up with other features, I can make sure that it's in the proper proportion compared to where it intersects your eyes, where it intersects your teeth, and this just becomes a great opportunity. I want you to take advantage of this because there's always something in your reference that you can use to your advantage so that you can get, again, the proper uh, uh, proportion. So let's go ahead and do uh, another one where we've got just a quick uh, uh, horizontal line. And uh, I'm doing this in Photoshop and it isn't necessarily something I do all the time. So um, I hope that I can just get this line on here. This helps us understand if there is a tilt. Uh, as I use my reference, I can run the line over onto my uh, drawing paper and just use it as a, an initial bearing line so that I can establish an attitude. And again, she's very, very level. And I can take this and, and just scoot along to any place, corner of the mouth. Look at how on the right side, the, the corner of her mouth is quite a bit up from the other one. This helps establish a great opportunity for uh, personality to capture those little characteristics that are unique to her. Now I have a, uh, a, a contrasting one and uh, I thought it would be good for us to just take a look at somebody that has a completely different structure to his face. And uh, let's see what we can do by establishing again a main line on his face. Let's get that center line. Seems like I, it's still just a great thing to do. Just coincidentally, I put it right down in between his teeth. It shows you that his lip is really very well distributed on right and left, and his nose is just a little bit off uh, center. It might be that his face is turned a little bit. So these are things, again, that help, help you establish that. But look at what happens when we uh, look at the width of his nose in relationship to the other features. And the alignment with his eyes, in particular, are quite a bit different than her. And it helps us to be able to uh, capture the uniqueness of this person and to make sure that we're not just putting a nose that's too small when it might be a wider nose, or on her, one that's quite a bit wider than it should be. So let's go ahead and then just look at a couple other things. And we can take this, I think, drag this down, and we can just remember that we can take information from our reference and we can draw right on through. If you line that straight edge, which I've uh, talked about in the materials and uh, shown in several demonstrations over on YouTube and in the uh, free lessons over on 5pencilmethod.com. Now I hope you're taking advantage of those because it helps you start seeing your reference in a way that will help you catch those little differences, even the slight tilt of a head that can make such a big difference when you're trying to capture the person you're trying to draw. Now, I have several things coming up. 
I'm going to put out another one of these uh, little demonstrations, and then I have something very special that I want you to watch for. I hope that these lessons are helping you to be able to draw what you see.